here. Now, if you're Headfine member or you've been browsing the forums for some time, you're probably familiar with Woo Audio. For many members, they've been the go-to company when they wanted to buy a tube amp. However, when you go and buy a tube amp, it can get quite complex. You go there, is, it going to be, is the amp going to be suitable for your headphones? Is it going to work with multiple types of headphones? Do you want to buy upgrade tubes? Do you want to buy other kinds of upgrades? Do you want to buy one with a separate power supply? Etc, etc, etc. It can get quite complex. So with that in mind, uh, Jack Wu from Wu Audio decided to come up with an amp that was simple and straightforward for normal people to use and attractive as well. Something you could plug into your computer, plug in any headphones or IEMs whatsoever and it would just work and sound great. So, he asked the, most, uh, the best person in the world how the amp should look, his wife. And her answer, a cube. And that's what we have here. This is the Wu Audio WA7 Fireflies. Now, as you can see, it is very simple design. All you see on the front are the volume control, the headphone sockets, and the tubes. Now, these tubes, unusually, are in, uh, encased in this glass block. And yes, this really is glass. It is very, very heavy. And there they are. These tubes are Russian 6C45 power tubes. They're an unusual tube, they're not something so common that you see on eBay where, with many options available. So, unlike Wu Audio's other amps, it's not something you can buy a variety of tubes for. Basically, you buy the amp, you buy the tubes, and you're done. So, that makes the, uh, the uh, worry of getting caught up in tube rolling eliminated. Also, you're probably wondering, how did they get everything in there? And the answer is they didn't. This is the power supply. So this nice block, which is almost as large as this cube, sits on the floor behind your desk, for example. And then you connect both the units together with a nice long umbilical, seen here. That taken care of, all that's left on your desk is this attractive cube. And I have to say that at least two people who I lent this to, their wives commented that they'd rather that they got rid of all their other audio gear and had just this on their desk. It certainly is a nice looking unit. Now, if you're wondering where's all the other stuff, it's all there on the back. And I'll turn around this quite a heavy unit, and there you have it, the back of the WA7. Now the first thing you might notice is the USB input. That's right, this is a DAC amp, which as I said before, you can plug in your computer, plug in your headphones, and away you go listening to music. Quick overview of the controls first. There's your power switch and your umbilical input for the power from the, the uh, power supply. There's an impedance switch, which I'll talk about a bit later, basically for uh, low impedance or high impedance headphones. And all the bits and pieces of the DAC. Now, not only is there a USB input, but you'll see a couple of RCA jacks. Well, what are they for? This unit is uh, quite convenient in that it has a number of extra features included. Now the normal mode you use it is of course USB in to headphone out in which it's already set to USB mode. However, if you switch it to DA mode on the right, these RCA sockets become a line out from the uh, USB in. That means you can connect this to say a pair of active speakers or another amp and use it as just a USB DAC. And while the volume control doesn't work as that's part of the amp, you can do it while the unit is switched off and this is because the DAC uses USB bus power. Last but not least, what if you want to use a higher quality DAC with the amp? Well, you can do that too. Push the switch over into RCA mode, and these RCA sockets become a line in instead, allowing you to connect a much uh, better DAC or CD player or what have you. So there you have it. A USB DAC amp, a USB DAC, or bypass that and use it as just an amp. Whichever option you choose, you can get great results. And that leaves on your desk just this very simple footprint where you only have to plug in your headphones. Now, if you've noticed uh, something about the, the amp from the beginning, yes, there's a small and a large socket. What's that for? Unlike Wu Audio's other amps, and unlike a lot of tube amps, this amp is designed to work well with IEMs as well as anything that requires a lot of power. So, as I said, the amp's quite heavy. You've noticed that when I plug in headphones in my other videos, I probably put my hand behind here to hold the unit while I plug things in. Well, no need for this one. It's heavy enough that it was not going to move about very quickly when you plug your headphones in and out. However, when you do plug your headphones in, you can either plug in IEMs to the small socket or regular headphones to the large socket, not both together, because one will not cut out the other. But 
with IEMs, you think a tube, uh, tube amp that can do IEMs and things like planar headphones? Really? Yes, I'm not joking. These tubes have more than enough power for these headphones, but also with the way it's set up, you can plug in IEMs and still get good sound uh, without issue. Even if they're custom IEMs with multiple balanced armatures, no problem at all. I plugged in my JH13s, no problem. Volume at maximum, dead silent background. Trilucent 1 plus 2s, no problem again. Dead silent background, beautiful music, no issues. And the reason for that is, this is called a transformer coupled tube amp. What's that? Well, most tube amps, uh, if they don't have, if they're straight, the output is straight out of the tubes, have a fairly high output impedance. That's fine if you've got high impedance headphones like your Sennheiser HD800s, your Bear Dynamic uh, 600 ohm headphones, and that sort of thing. But if you have low impedance headphones like IEMs or especially balanced armature IEMs, which have a very wildly varying impedance curve, much like full size speakers do then you need something with a very low output impedance so that that doesn't become an issue. And that's how this is designed, with the transformers set up for that exactly. And that switch on the back I mentioned before for output impedance can be switched to a low, which is good for your IEMs and of course your planar magnetics, or optionally high for your high impedance headphones. Though you can play around and switch with both and see which sound you like, or just leave it on low and plug in whatever. Now, so there we have it. That is the Wu Audio WA7 Fireflies. Now, sound-wise, that's last but not least. Uh, normally, Wu amps, uh, Wu Audio amps, have a reputation for a fairly tubey sound. That is a, a bit more mellow than uh, neutral. However, this amp is fairly neutral sounding. The stock tubes do sound a little bit mellow, but not not a great deal. Um, even with the uh, LCD threes, the result was a very relaxing sound. Although, uh, even though LCD threes, you could say have a very relaxing sound to begin with. However, there is one tube upgrade, just one, not a many, just one, so you don't have to worry about uh, going nuts with that, with, to a set of uh, um, electroharmonics gold pin tubes, and that makes the amp almost dead neutral in terms of uh, how it sounds, which is great for things like the, for the uh, LCD3s. There probably is a touch of bass boost uh, in the overall sound, that was my impression anyway, uh, but that seems to make work really well with a lot of headphones, um, especially things like uh, brighter, high impedance headphones. The sound was really fantastic and clear. And I have to say that uh, the DAC, um, I did compare it to a number of other DACs I have here. It's about on the same level as uh, an AudioQuest Dragonfly in terms of quality. But this amp is much, much better than that. And I did plug in uh, the, some of the some very expensive DACs into this some which you've seen in a video before, and the sound was even much, much better with those. So it definitely will scale up to uh, uh, better equipment if you uh, decide to upgrade from the inbuilt DAC. We'll start that way from the beginning. Regardless, it does sound really good if you use it straight as intended USB in and uh, headphones out. It is very, very listenable. The DAC is very, uh, uh, fairly even sounding. Being USB bus powered, I did try uh, a bit of a USB bus power with better results. But, I'd say save your cash for a better DAC if you want to upgrade from there. So, that is the Wu Audio WA7 Fireflies. And if you're one of those people who just want to uh, buy something and be done and not have to think too much, this is definitely one thing to consider. And thank you for watching my channel.